What is up guys, Tech James here. So recently I got a second hand ASRock motherboard off eBay. The reason why I happened to purchase this motherboard was because I wanted to get one of my older faulty desktop computers up and running again. However, there was one problem with this motherboard because in the motherboard's BIOS, the CPU fan was set to max speed. So basically whenever I turned on the computer, it sounded like a bloody airplane, but the BIOS on the motherboard had an admin password set up with it. And like I said, I got this motherboard second hand off ebay so i had no idea what the password was and neither did the seller so in this quick tutorial i will be explaining how to remove a bios password without actually knowing what it is you can actually do this on both desktop and laptop any operating system any computer any motherboard brand let's start off this video with desktop pcs first so the very first thing you guys want to do is make sure you turn off your desktop computer next you want to go ahead and actually open up the case you might need to take out the graphics card obviously we need to get access to the motherboard and we are looking for this the cmos battery now i will leave a link to some of these in the video's description just in case you guys need a replacement but you basically want to get a screwdriver and just remove it from the motherboard now you also want to have a little jumper on the clear slash reset cmos pins it might work without one but i would definitely recommend having one plugged in anyway maybe your motherboard came with one you could always buy one off ebay or amazon and yeah guys that's basically it here's a demonstration on a motherboard which is actually out of a computer just so it's a bit easier for you guys to see so yeah i took off the jumper i also removed the motherboard cmos battery so yes pretty easy to do and after that guys you actually want to wait 15 minutes some people say wait around five minutes maybe that's not long enough wait 15 and you should be good to go after the 15 minutes is up go ahead and put the jumper back onto the clear pins and also plug in your battery now it's time to plug your graphics card back in if you have one make sure to connect all of the wires and cables as well basically put your pc back together go ahead and plug it in and go and turn it on and if you press the bios button on your keyboard so f2 delete f11 f12 whatever it is you should now be able to access the bios and the password option has now disappeared and yeah it's as easy as that that's how you fix a desktop pc which has a password locked bios even if you don't know the password now as you guys can see here i was able to change my fan speed to level three before it was on level nine and that was way too fast it was way too loud as well and once you are done guys just go to exit then go ahead click on save changes and exit make sure to save everything your pc will reboot yet again and you should be good to go you might get a screen like this where it says configuring windows updates simply just wait for it and there you go my pc is working perfectly fine now i'm going to show you guys how to do this on laptops it's pretty much the same thing but it's a little bit more complicated laptops are harder to take apart and also there are lots different than desktop computers for this video's demonstration I will be using a very old Alienware computer. As you guys can see, it's an Alienware M11X R3 laptop. Now, what you can see right here is a standard laptop battery. This is not the CMOS battery. This one is. This tiny battery with yellow plastic around it, that's the CMOS battery for this Alienware laptop. But keep in mind, guys, they do differ. Some laptops' CMOS batteries might look like this, and they may require soldering. The Alienware one is pretty good because you can just plug it in. Even some laptops use the same CMOS battery battery that desktops use so yeah that would be pretty cool if you owned one of these and so there you go that's what the cmos battery looks like on an alienware gaming laptop keep in mind the laptop cmos batteries work exactly the same as the desktop ones do unplug it wait 15 minutes plug it back in and you're good to go so that's pretty much it for this video i just wanted to show you guys how to remove a bios password when you don't know what the password is and you want to edit something in the bios if you guys enjoyed this video as always make sure to leave a like and subscribe thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys later